are putting that congressional race, District 22, through the Trust Index. District 22 covers a big portion of our area, parts of Fort Bend County, Brazoria County, and Harris County, and it's been represented by Republican Pete Olson for more than a decade. But Olson is now retiring, and these men that you saw right there earlier are now locked in a dogfight to replace him. Channel 2 investigator Mario Diaz live in Fort Bend County tonight to reveal our Trust Index results on those third-party campaign ads. And Mario, these third-party operatives aren't just throwing jabs, they're throwing knockout punches here. And that's right, Dominique. They're throwing punches on behalf of Shrikul Carney, who's right here, as well as the sheriff in Fort Bend County standing behind me there, Troy Nels. But the question is, which one of these facts are actually sticking with ads or sticking with true facts? We decided to examine them through the trust index. Texas 22, one of the most coveted congressional districts in the nation. And perhaps you've noticed. Oh, I think we've seen a lot of mudslinging, Mario. It's a no-holds-barred battle. He disobeyed orders and was suspended. Kulkarni's personal behavior is reckless. Online and over the airwaves. Shri Kulkarni, too reckless, too liberal. Troy Nails wants to represent you in Congress. We asked for Bend voters for their reaction. I don't think they're useful for people to evaluate candidates. Everybody's negative, nothing positive. You never see anything good about the person, just negative. Channel 2 investigates put the negative ads through our trust index, examining two key sections in each ad, both produced by outside groups, not the campaign themselves. Let's start with the ad against Republican Troy Nels paid for by the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. Troy Nails was fired from two police departments. He lied about his criminal record. He destroyed evidence. In 1998, Richmond police did fire Nels. He acknowledges this. Destruction of evidence is cited, but we cannot find any official records of him getting fired twice. Even the DCCC points out this allegation in bold. In their proof point, no official proof of Nels being fired twice equals red, not true. Now the section claiming that Nels is lying about his criminal records. Channel 2 Investigates found this 1988 police report. It states that a 20-year-old Nels was arrested in Wisconsin for obstructing an officer and underage drinking. Nels claims he wasn't arrested, but cited. The officer who issued those citations agrees. There was no... Uh, physical arrest or anything, just uh, citations. This part of the ad also gets a yellow. Be careful. Let's move across the aisle. The ad against Sri Kulkarni, paid for by the Congressional Leadership Fund. What do we really know about Sri Kulkarni? About the notorious desert drug parties he attended? His cocaine arrest? The Desert Drug Parties is a reference to Nevada's Burning Man Festival. Kulkarni posting his 2017 attendance on Facebook, but no evidence of drug use on his part. This gets a be careful. The claim about a cocaine arrest is true. Green on this one. Kulkarni arrested for cocaine possession in 1997 at age 19. Kulkarni admitted guilt and was given deferred adjudication. Now, we examined only a couple of sections from a couple of ads, but as you heard Dr. Adams in that piece there, he is the chair from Texas Southern University in the political science department. He said, oh, Mario, there is a lot of mud out there in Texas 22 in this particular race. But we wanted to find out exactly how well do these ads resonate with the public and what are they trying to sell? Uh, are they effective? Do they really work? We have a special web component to this story. You can see it right now by simply going to the investigate section of click2houston.com. Live in Sugarland tonight, I'm Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Okay, Mario, we'll go looking for it. Meanwhile,